Hi Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another video. Have you encountered any masters of deception in your midst? Do you know of someone who always gets away with what they want despite being wrong? The factors that play here is they're being master manipulators, but they always strike silently, and before you know it, you've been ensnared. The key traits of a manipulative personality are that they are great at reading others and deceiving. They can anticipate other people's needs and use them to their advantage. Before we go any further, it is worth mentioning that not all manipulators are inherently bad people, and not everyone showing these signs can be labeled a manipulator. It is relative to context. With that said, here are six signs of manipulation most people miss. 1. They bring you into their territory. They don't do no neutral grounds, no sir. They operate in settings where they can control the power dynamics between the people. Manipulative individuals stick to what he or she knows. For example, a manipulative boss may ask you to come to his or her office. That way, they can exert more control and dominance over you. 2. Prospecting A tactic as old as time. Manipulators appear to be attentive to what you say, but it is not because they are great listeners. If only, they are creating a mental profile of your behaviors, thought patterns, strengths, and weaknesses. They may pose questions that seem incisive and interesting, but they are gouging your response to see what is permissible and what is not. 3. Informational Overload Did you know that you can be bullied intellectually too? Is anyone around you always trying to awe others by being a walking encyclopedia? Being knowledgeable is not a bad thing, but using that knowledge to induce inferiority feelings in others is. Manipulators, specifically those you encounter in the workplace, might overwhelm you with data and statistics. This is a form of intellectual bullying with the goal to make them feel knowledgeable and authoritative. By exerting their presumed knowledge, they can convince others to go along with their agenda. At times, manipulators also use this tactic to not only establish their superiority, but to also excuse inexcusable behavior. 4. Fake Facts Repeat after me. A manipulative individual only has his or her own self-interest in mind. Always. They will do anything to push ahead and get what they want. This includes lying, cheating, victimizing others, feigning innocence, deforming the truth, and gaslighting. Oh boy. Gaslighting, among all the other tactics, serves to undermine the victim's emotions and sanity. It subtly plants doubt in the victim's mind, which leads to confusion. Over time, the self-doubt and injury transforms into distorted narratives which can lead the victim to develop CPTSD, depression, or anxiety. 5. Preying on your sensibilities To satisfy their ego, many manipulators prey on other people's sensibilities. While at first, they can seem kind and attentive. Later on, they use the information they have gathered about you against you. Additionally, manipulators seek those who are vulnerable as victims because they have a higher chance of being trapped in a terrible relationship. A way to unmask a manipulator's kindness and empathy is by paying attention to how they speak to others. Manipulators usually talk behind people's backs, and they will eventually do the same to you. 6. Silent Treatment A silent sign, just as its name implies. The silent treatment is a popular passive-aggressive behavior. But just because you have done it to someone or someone has done it to you over an argument does not mean that you or that person are manipulators. This kind has more deep-rooted, sinister causes. The silent treatment is a way to establish control over a situation. By controlling the communication, a manipulator is not only establishing their point of view, but also they are refusing to acknowledge yours. It is intended to make you feel insecure and doubtful of your emotions. We hope we were able to give you insight into some signs of manipulation that go unnoticed mostly. Do any of these describe your experience? How did you identify them? Leave a comment down below about your encounters with them if you'd like. Please feel free to share any thoughts you have as well. If you find this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there under influence of such manipulation. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks for watching. We'll be waiting to see you in our next video.